Rescue Trucker coming at you with a truck tour to give y'all an idea of how we stay out for two and a half to three months at a time and uh, what our living conditions are in our truck. So this is our truck. We drive a 40 foot straight truck. We do a lot of expedited freight. So we don't drive a huge 18 wheeler. We drive this. This is the outside. It's kind of loud out here at the truck stop. Plus we got our generator going, so you might hear that. All right, so this is the back of the truck with both doors open, where all the freight goes. Pretty big in there, we can fit quite a bit. Most of our loads though aren't that big, so it does good for us. And this is what it looks like with the back closed. Walk around to this side. Got a toolbox down there. Looks the same as the other side. <laughs> if you notice, we got a big sleeper, bigger than uh, most regular trucks. It's a custom sleeper. And I'll show you the inside of that here in a minute. We have a generator so that we can have AC and electric while the truck is not idling. Coming around to the front. And there she is. Isn't she pretty? All right, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so this is the cab of the truck where all the driving happens. nice and spacious that's our computer for we get all of our jobs and etc on got our little doggy bed for our doggy babies yeah this is the front not a whole lot happening up here two seats steering wheel pedals dashboard or dash instruments <laughs> uh, our other GoPro that we use as a dash cam which I get some footage on all of our uh, GoPro mounts are at home so next time we're home I'm gonna grab those so I can mount uh, the GoPros out and get some uh, better footage for when we're driving but that is the front of the truck this does got some cabinets up here that I probably need to clean out. Some uh, Werther's candy. It's got like one, two candies in there. And this side for some storage. Got some little cubbies up here. Yeah, two cup holders nothing too fancy does the job so that's the front let's take a look at the sleeper now all right so here is the actual sleeper um, just so y'all know we do drive it's a Freightliner M112 and again it is not a big 18 wheeler it's a 40 foot box truck or straight truck um, but we do have a 96 inch custom sleeper on this truck and this is why we are able to stay out two and a half three months at a time because it is like a little home away from home like a little RV so see our little babies back there on the bed right now i have the bed down and that's the way it stays about 95 percent of the time it's just easier there is a dinette set um, configuration that we can do which i will show you that here in a few minutes um, but yeah most of the time we keep the bed down it's just easier so as we walk back into the sleeper from the cab of the truck you'll see like i said the bed this truck is configured with a bunk bed on the top 
um, we took the mattress out it's in the box of the truck um, so we could use it for more storage since it doesn't have the extra cabinets and it has the bunk so you'll see up there um, I have my little office area paperwork printer um, some storage behind there these bins is what I keep our clothes in um, it's just easy to access and yeah so that's what the top of that is used for but again it could be used as a bunk if you want an extra bed but honestly the bed that's in here is way big enough for both my husband and I and our two mongrels down there so yeah that's that um, it does have some storage up there I don't know if you can see those flaps there is storage um, let me open this to get a little bit more light in here too um, has a vent fan up top that is remote control um, yeah so that's nice as you come down you can see we have two windows on either side of the bed with two little storage cabinets on each side as well um, let's start on this side so if we go up here and pardon my cabinets they are not organized that great um, I really need to come up with a better way of organizing them it's just kind of hard because they're just kind of wide open so anyway over here we've got a little cabinet there and this truck does have a lot of storage even though it doesn't have the cabinets on the back wall and um, there is a lot of storage so then we've got two cabinets here again pardon the unorganization <laughs> But yeah, they're pretty big and deep. So you can fit a lot in there. It's just they don't have shelves. So it's kind of just a big hole. And of course, when you're moving down the road, things tend to shift and it doesn't stay organized. So yeah. Next, here's our fridge. It's a really good size fridge. It's really big and spacious. So it does hold a lot. Show you inside there. Got heavy holding the camera for me. There's the freezer, lots of stuff in there. And then down below, we've got the fridge. Again, it holds a lot of stuff. The fridge that we had before in our previous uh, truck, it, uh, it was a lot smaller. So it's really nice having this bigger fridge. Then coming over here, we have a little coat closet. <clears throat> Here or a hanging closet you could hang clothes in um, I don't bring a lot of dressy clothes with us on the road just simply because we really don't go out anywhere we have to dress up and the less things I have to bring the better so I usually keep our shower bag in here um, our vacuum extra shoes our jackets uh, winter hats things like that rain jacket uh, extra bags that we use for trash that's what's kept in there next we'll move along to the other side and if you see this is where it goes into the cab up front there are curtains that you can close close that and move that out of the way so this is what it looks like with the curtains closed and we usually close these at night um, also, if one of us is back here sleeping and the other is driving, we can close that off so it helps with noise and light. Um, also, there are blinds on the windows. I'll show you that as well. Um, down here is our porta potty. We do have a porta potty. I keep it covered up with a towel, but it is nice to have when you're not by a truck stop or somewhere that has a restroom that comes in very very handy and it's a very nice one so it's not just a little cheapy one we did spend a little extra money to get a nice one um, and most flying J's, some rest areas you can or they have RV dumps so that's where we clean that Here out at. Here is the porta potty I was going to show you just kind of what that looks like um, it's really nice again when we're not by a truck stop or a rest area that has a restroom we can come back and use this um, it is easy to empty uh, 
So moving on and then other side of the sleeper where our TV is, sink area, which is right there. I have some dirty dishes in there. I need to do that once I'm done with this video. Um, another window, coffee pot. Right now, this doesn't usually stay out. Right now, I have some barbecue chicken going for dinner. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I don't know if you can see that through there, but that's why that's out. It's usually not out. It's usually put up in that bunk area when I'm not using it, but since I'm making barbecue chicken for dinner, that's why that's out, and usually the, the coffee pot's over here. So, that's the little uh, sink cabinet countertop area very nice another window which i love 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 all the windows in this truck in the sleeper it just gives it a more open feel than being cooped up in a 10 by 10 box so above the kitchen counter we have more cabinets we do have a microwave it is a microwave convection oven so you can use it as a microwave or an oven open that up sorry i'm using it as bread storage uh, that's one thing in a truck you find um, some ingenious ways to store stuff so that's that we've got another cabinet over here up there is where our satellite receiver is we do have satellite tv in the truck which uh, i don't know what we did without that we didn't get that probably until about six eight months ago and oh my gosh I we are so glad we finally got that because it makes a big difference when you're sitting so another cabinet up top more cabinet storage I just keep paper plates ziploc bags uh, baking stuff up there coming down another little cabinet I keep kind of our canned foods in there pots and pans for cooking. I do have a new wave cooktop that I do cook with um, as a cooktop, which is wonderful. I love it. Again, just got that maybe four or five months ago and I love it. So moving down under the down seat. Down here below the counter is all the controls for the sleeper. Um, we've got everything underneath there. So we've got starting on this side over here you got that switch controls the mood lighting as you can see there's rope lights under the cabinets and up top that controls the water pump for the sink then next to those controls we have the inverter which controls all the power electric for the sleeper to the right of that is the controls for the actual APU or generator that controls everything in the sleeper when the truck's not running we can turn the generator on that power AC heat and I'm sorry my doggie's barking there you probably hear her next to that is the controls for the air conditioner and heat when the truck is running when we're driving down the road obviously we don't run the generator while we're driving the truck down the road but if one of us is back here in the sleeper, we want to have, uh, be able to have air and heat. So that is the controls for that. Next to that is the light switch. Uh, just controls the regular lights, LED lights. And here is the silverware drawer. Keep all our silverware and spices in there. Down below that is just some extra cabinets. Below the drawer is going to be where I keep all of our cleaning supplies, uh, extra jugs. Our inverter is down there. Um, next to that, we've got some gallons of water, extra dog food, fan, toilet paper. So yeah, basically just some storage area down there. To show you, um, all the windows have these little daylight blinds that they come down. So for privacy, to kind of keep the sun out, um, that kind of thing. But they all have that, and that's really nice feature to have as well. So let me put the bed up here, and so y'all can see what it looks like with the table configuration. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here it is with the bed up. 
and the tabletop down so as you can see it's a nice little table area to eat do paperwork whatnot um, you've got two little bench seats on either side so that's really nice I keep our laundry basket extra water shoes the dogs food and water that kind of stuff underneath there because like I said we mostly keep the bed down um, but there are occasions we do put it up um, and that is the tour of our truck how we live on the road um, I know a lot of people always are curious what the inside of these custom sleepers look like so I'm just excited to get to show you what ours looks like um, yeah so I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos um, I do plan on doing more if there's something y'all would like to see a video on while we're out on the road um, anything with the truck just let me know down in the comments um, and I will be happy to try to do that for you so again this is Heather signing off again Y'all have a great day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.